Atlas Hesitoro alongside Teddy Atlas. Good evening and welcome to the New York City Arena here in Midtown Manhattan for our main event. Scheduled for 12 rounds. Middleweights going at it between these two great warriors. Ward's making his way down to the ring. And he does so with a confidence where he knows he put all the hard work in and he's ready to explode inside those ropes. He's on his way to the ring. Boy, he looks confident. We've seen it many times with him through the years, but tonight he's bubbling with confidence. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, the Dream Boy! His opponents in the blue corner, please welcome the Undertaker! All right, guys, remember, obey my commands at all times. All right? Opening round here, scheduled for 12. Teddy, most of the fighters that you train throughout your career are guys that could be described as this, guys that really will bring it and are able to do it throughout the whole fight and go the distance. What's the mental makeup of a guy like that? Confidence. He's been there before. He's sure that he can do it. defensive skill with the block by the Dream. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. A good block. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. We always see great athletes week in and week out. But, Teddy, what sport do you think can produce the best boxers? Well, believe it or not, basketball. Everybody would say football. We saw two tall Jones. He got demolished by little guys. We saw Gastineau. He got demolished. We saw Highsmith. He got demolished. A lot of football players haven't done well. But basketball players... They have the physical skill sets where they can make a pretty good fighter. Of course, you have to get a guy that mentally is adjusted. Comes right back with some offense of his own. that attack this is great action right from the start what an opening round between these two a barrage of punches that time good combination yeah that's what you want you don't want one at a time you want three or four Here we go, round two is 
is underway. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Well, he took one right there, but then he targeted one right back. Fine fundamentals, good counterpunch. Some fine fundamentals, good counterpunch. Nice mousetrap day, let him in beautifully. He didn't use cheese, he used distance. Well off the mark by Ward. his hands up getting rid of his opponent's <laughs> offense Ward's movements really helping him out avoiding that punch blocks away that headshot lands the counter Halfway through round number two. Nice block by Ward. Locks it away. Great movement to get away from those punches. Excellent counter punch by Ward. Well targeted combination by Ward. Ward's ability to just get to his opponent before his opponent gets to him. Showcase there, his hand speed is very good. Yeah, it is, Joe. You know, it speaks to one of those old sayings that the trainers used to say, just get off first. That's what he's doing right now. He's getting off first. Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. End of the round here, a round that saw a lot of action. The kind of round that fans pay to be here to see. Well, these are TV-friendly fighters, and we figured that coming in. You gotta throw more. You gotta fight, you gotta throw more. You don't fight in training. Don't worry about it. The swelling is nothing. Just... Just focus on the fight. And round number three is underway. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. In and out, in and out. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Ward's a pro, but he's not a well-rounded pro because a better level of fighter would be committing to the body more here, wouldn't he, Teddy? Yeah, well, first of all, he would recognize that that's where he's supposed to be going now that his opponent, you know, is taking off a little bit with those fast shoes. No better way to take those shoes off his feet than to go downstairs. So 
swiftly able to turn defense into offense. Nice counter punch. And what you're noticing here is his opponent is starting to be a little wary of letting his jab go because every time he jabs, he gets caught. He got hit, but he sends it right back. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. And you see he turned defense into offense, comes back with the counterpunch. And that's exactly what he brings to the game. He makes you miss, he makes you pay. And he makes you think twice about throwing a punch later on. Denies his opponent comes with the overhand right. You always say punchers are born, Teddy, but what about a guy's ability to withstand big punches? What about a guy's chin? You know, that's an interesting point. Part of it is physical, and you know what it is? It's the neck. That's the shock absorber, but most of it's mental. You have to want to take the punches. You have to will yourself through the punches. This guy has some will. Banking away those body shots. Ten seconds to go in this third round. Good block. We come to the end of the round. A round that I'm having a tough time trying to think about who won. I can only imagine what the judges are thinking about. Teddy, if there's one thing you look for in a round like that and say, okay, I'm going to give it to this guy over this guy, what is it? Well, the first thing is, if I'm a judge, I take a little notepad and I make a little mark down blue or red corner what he did early. Because sometimes a judge has a tendency to forget what was done early and only go with what went late. Here we go with the fourth round. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. Able to counter that attack. Not what he was looking for. That's a miss right there by Ward. Ward's just not able to land many punches to the body here, and he's fighting a faster fighter. You would think he would make that commitment. Yeah, you know, he should have talked to a plumber because a plumber would have told him, you know, you want to you wanna put a leak in somebody's basement? Well, you know what you do? You go and you open up some pipes downstairs, and then all of a sudden there's going to be a lot of flooding. Then the upstairs ain't too good anymore. Well, the upstairs won't be too good for this fast guy if there's some leaking in the basement, but... You gotta break those pipes. You gotta do some punching downstairs. Ward's cheek is cut, and you can see it's opening up now. Boy, that could be a factor later on. <laughs> Halfway through round number four. Able to block that away. It was targeted for his head. And he scores again. Nice block by the Dream. Good stuff in the opening two minutes. A minute to go in this round. Nice block by Ward. Ward's cheek is ripped open right there. You can see the cut. Able to cover up that gun.
missed the body shot. Good counter punch. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. As we come to the end of the round, Joe and Teddy with you ringside. Teddy, that's one of those rounds where I wonder what were the judges looking for because it's tough to kind of draw a line between those two fighters. Yeah, very close, but one of those rounds where you could steal it. You did a little bit more in those last 30, 20 seconds. Maybe that's the impression the judges are left with. Fight. You just focus on the fight. You'll take care of this way. Get on that. Get on that. Back to live action now in what has been a closely contested fight. One of those fights that somebody is still waiting to break through and be a difference maker in. You get the sense that we have a fight in front of us that's going to be fought this way right to the bitter end. Go the full distance and be one of those fights that's greatly debated over. Well, you hope they get it the right way, but it's very important that they don't act like fans. They being judges, when they're not just watching leather be thrown from all angles, they're watching real closely to see who's landing the punches, who's landing the most clean, effective blows. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counter punches. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. Blocks that punch. Excellent counter punch by Ward. It is unbelievable how this fight is being fought. Both guys unwilling to stop. One guy goes at it, the other guy meets him punch for punch. Well, you've heard it before. You've heard the term used one day at a time to deal with something very difficult. Well, this is one round at a time. That is the only way these fighters, these warriors, could deal with this kind of pace. Well done that time, landing the counter punch. Oh, and they decide to trade there. Not able to land the headshot. Nice block. Good looking counter punch. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. What a good war this has been. What a good, good, solid fight it's been. The kind of fight that tells me somebody wants to get rid of the other guy. It almost looks like they made a deal where neither one could win by decision. Where if they didn't win by knockout, it doesn't count. Back to action here at the start of this round, which is just part of what has been a very evenly fought fight. One of those fights that's going to be very hard to score. Able to block that away, it was targeted for his head. Nice 
two punch combo by Ward. The tactical game paying off. You can see the counter punch. Yeah, you see the counter punch, but you know what I see? I see a little tentativeness now in him because he's afraid to let anything go because when he misses, bang, he gets caught. There's an excellent combination by Ward. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. Wow, just sit back and enjoy this one. You can tell both guys are so determined to give everything they have here tonight. So it's like the first time you heard Ray Charles sing God Bless America. You knew it was special. You knew you hadn't heard it before. I haven't seen anything like this before. Blocks that punch. Oh, he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. That was a miss by Ward. Fires right back at him. Frustrating his opponent with great defense. Last 10 seconds. Keep it going. <laughs> Really fun looking fight so far here. We've reached the halfway mark. Teddy, your impressions as to what we're gonna see in the second half of this fight? More of the same. I don't think these fighters know how to do anything, at least tonight. They came here with this mentality, and you know what? You can't really change gears at this point. You're gonna see more of the same. Good action throughout. We'll see if it keeps up in this round of what has been a very even fight. Good block by Ward. He turned defense into offense, comes back with the counter punch. And that's exactly what he brings to the game. He makes you miss, he makes you pay. And he makes you think twice about throwing a punch later on. The jab has been able to carry the night for him so far. Why so, Teddy? Well, first of all, he's been able to get it off at the right time. His opponent, that sweet spot. You know, you hear about that in baseball. You want to just hit that ball in the sweet spot. Well, the jab, he's catching his opponent just as he's starting to get into his range before he can get off. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Ward's doing half of his opponent's job for him. He's a sitting target. This is like being in the gym for his opponent right now. Yeah, he's just standing straight up, making himself much, much too available. Halfway through the seventh round. <laughs> Half 
halfway through what is one of the best rounds you'll ever see. Just great action. Now, it's unbelievable. I mean, if you love roller coasters, you go to an amusement park. If you want to see left hooks, right hands, every direction, great chins, great endurance, great heart, you come to this fight. You stay right here. The Undertaker's nose is now starting to bleed. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. a big right hand after eating one himself well as that round comes to an end it gives us a moment to kind of reflect on this overall fight and Teddy my thoughts are pretty clear cut this is the kind of fight that just takes on a personality of its own this is an all-out war yeah this is kind of like watching a guy who's not on a budget you know he's spending with both hands you know when he goes home he's gonna have no money in his pockets and when this fight is over these guys are gonna have nothing left in the gas tank and it's probably not going to a decision another round and if it keeps up with the rest of them it'll be closely contested and hard to score Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Well off the mark by Ward. turn defense into offense comes back with the counter punch and that's exactly what he brings to the game he makes you miss he makes you pay and he makes you think twice about throwing a punch later on blocks the head shot Halfway through this round here. Nice block by Ward. Well targeted two punch combo by Ward. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. man slowing down as we have 60 seconds to go in this round <laughs> blocks away that headshot <laughs> nice block by the dream Good block there by the Dream. Ward's making for a very inviting target right now. That cut is much worse than it was just moments ago. What he has to do is he's got to be elusive right now. He's got to get on his horse a little bit and give those medicines that were put into the cut a chance to work a little bit. But also, he's got to slow his opponent down. Catch him with something so he doesn't keep going after that eye. 
round comes to an end here. An enjoyable night sitting ringside. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. A lot better than our day we spent at the horse track the other day where we couldn't get any winners, at least I couldn't. But uh, we were talking about the fact that so many parallels to be made between boxing and life boxing and all these other sports we enjoy, like horse racing, of being well-conditioned and working your way up to this one singular moment. Yeah, well, the trainer obviously has to get the athlete. In this case, athlete happens to be over a 1,000 pounds, and that's a horse. You know, at peak condition, he has to look at a calendar just like a trainer does with a fighter, know when the race is, know when the fight is, and not get used up out on the track or used up, of course, in the gym. A headshot blocked. Wow, great action right from the start. Hey, I don't know that they can keep up this pace, but if they do, what a night we got ahead of us. Yeah, we're getting tired just watching this early part. Blocks that punch. Able to get rid of that one. See, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. A good block. that punch away. Good counter punch. This is great stuff. I mean, great stuff. Bring it in every which way they are. So you remember the time you were on a vacation, you saw that perfect sunset? Oh, yeah. It was just beautiful. This is beautiful. Not precise at all by Ward. He throws a big wide punch and leaves himself wide open. Oh, it's like leaving your window open in your house in the middle of winter. You know, a lot of cold air is going to come in. Guess what? Some hooks are coming in soon. There's a taste of the sweet science. You see the skill he has in counter-punching. And you know what he's doing? He's taking his opponent's jab away. This has been a hotly contested war throughout, and you just have a sense that it's going to end at any moment in these later rounds. Yeah, these guys are not saving anything. They're going for broke right from the beginning. Another round, will it go in another one-way direction? It's been a one-sided fight so far tonight. That was not well targeted by Ward. Keeping his hands up, getting rid of his opponent's offense. Keep 
able to show you his blocking ability. Not getting it done with that straight right hand. and bunches combination up top <laughs> protecting his head well with his guard now there's some blood but it's underneath the eye it's on the cheek so it's not going to impair his vision the counter the twists and turns and the non-stop battle it continues on as we've reached the one minute mark to go nice block by the dream Why we love the sport, Teddy. I mean, this is just back and forth action nonstop. Well, Joe, what special events have happened in history, you remember where you are. Right now, I'm going to remember where I was during this fight. I'm watching a special epic right in front of me. Glad to be here doing it, too. What a war this is. We come to the end of the round. A round that I'm having a tough time trying to think about who won. I can only imagine what the judges are thinking about. Teddy, if there's one thing you look for in a round like that, say, okay, I'm going to give it to this guy over this guy, what is it? Well, the first thing is, if I'm a judge, I take a little notepad and I make a little mark down blue or red corner what he did early. Because sometimes a judge has a tendency to forget what was done early and only go with what went late. Let's, let's get on that swell. Swell is gets underway it gets us thinking how much more of this will we see hard to envision this fight going the distance with how lopsided it's been great movement to get away from those punches Missed the target with that hook. <laughs> Parries that punch intended for the head. Keeping his hands up, getting way of his opponent's effort. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand.
Very nice defensive guard there. Ward's telling me what kind of training camp he had right now because this is a fatigued fighter we're seeing right here. Well, I saw him in the diner the other night eating a cheeseburger <laughs> at midnight, and you know what? Right That's about not a good sign. No, right? no, right about now he's sorry about that. He's wishing it was a garden salad. This has been a very entertaining fight. A little time to reflect here at the end of this round. My thoughts being this. I would really be surprised if we go to a decision here. It just has that kind of feel to it. Yeah, it has a feel to me like going to one of those places where you can eat all the pasta you can for one price, you know? And some guys get carried away. They eat about five bowls. Well, these guys, they're going to have a stomachache at the end. Somebody is going to wind up not standing at the end. Don't worry about it. We'll take care of it. They meet up for the 12th and final time. The last round has arrived. Well off the mark by Ward. The Undertaker's got a real problem on his hands now, Teddy. I think the cut is actually worsening around his eye. He has to do a better job of watching out for that. He has to protect that eye. Yeah, what he has to do now is give his corner man, his cut man, a chance for his work to be accomplished. In other words, there's been coagulants, chemicals put into that eye. Now the fighter has to move a little bit, be elusive, and allow those chemicals, those medicines to work. See, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Great fight. I mean, just a great fight. Both guys giving their all back and forth. It doesn't get much better. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. A minute to go in what has been two minutes of sensational action. Neither man coming off stride. Frustrating his opponent with great defense. That's a good block by the Dream. Blocks the headshot. And for the official judges' scores, let's send it up to the Ladies ring. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight the judges have reached a unanimous decision. Your winner! The Undertaker. He's your winner by a unanimous decision. And that was a surprise right there. Coming into this fight, we thought we'd see maybe a knockout. But no, we wound up getting a strategic fight. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. That doesn't ring.